what's going on YouTube welcome back to another video you know many persons might be wondering what's the difference when you're driving in the US and in Jamaica in Jamaica we drive on the right and left is it the yeah we drive on the left side of the road so if you look at a two-way street and the line divides the opposite traffic then in Jamaica we drive on the left side of the line now in the US we drive on the right side so you must keep left when you're driving in Jamaica and you must keep right so if you're not familiar with the road then just have that in your mind Jamaica keep left US keep right <laughs> The road condition in the US is pretty good. I must say that I'm really impressed with most of the roads and their conditions. It is really, really good because you're not going to find a lot of potholes and you're not going to find a lot of damaged roads here. So if you fix your car, you know, it, it will last. You don't have to worry about fixing your car every two months or changing parts. Now, in Jamaica, <laughs> I have to laugh at this one. Because in Jamaica, you're going to have good roads. I'm not talking down on my country. You're going to have good roads. Like on the highway, like in the residential areas. And some of the main roads are, are really good and the government they are working to improve the road conditions in Jamaica I must say so I'm not talking down on them but for the most part especially in the inner city the road condition is my goodness you have potholes like it's so many potholes that are in the inner city it's just you can't fathom all those potholes you have to be swerving dodging you have to be extra vigilant on the road just because of potholes like the road conditions is, is it's it's bad it's bad so if, if you buy a certain part for your car just know that you will be visiting the mechanic a lot because trust me <laughs> you have a lot to deal with jamaica road so police present so here in the US, you are not going to see police like in a corner hiding, trying to catch people off guard or anything like that. You're not going to see that. In most cases, you're going to have police dispatch on the road, but they are just monitoring the speeding situation. They are called speed traps. So you'll have them in a corner and then they are just looking to ensure that no one is speeding on the road, that you are obeying or driving a little above the posted speed limit now police can pull you over you know if you are driving even one above the speed limit pull you over and check to make sure that everything is all right and that is something else that they will do so they will drive behind you and then they will scan your license plate because they have a laptop in the car they will scan or type in your license plate whatever they do on their laptop and then they will look up your information and see if everything is legit with your car so that's the only time police will really get will, will really pull you over when you are not straight right so in jamaica now it's a total different scenario because you're going to have those cops who will hide they will hide from you <laughs> behind cars or behind a tree or something just to catch you off guard it happened to me before so I can speak from experience and when they do this 
they are trying to catch you off guard because they want to you know surprise you if i should say and then after that they are going to ask you a lot of questions like what job you do where you're heading and you know ask you a lot of questions just to intimidate you and then of course they will try to get a food from you so now in jamaica when we talk about get food our police a look at food they are basically trying to get an extra income that is what it means when they are looking food all right so if police pull you over just ensure that if you're in jamaica and police pull you over ensure that your documents are up to date and you know what you know know your rights if you know that you weren't speeding don't let him show you that this is what you were going because you know the speed you were driving all right school bus so this is something that i'm just gonna run through because school bus is not in jamaica so you will have private school bus in jamaica that will pick up the students from school drop them off at home and vice versa but here in the u.s the school bus is a big thing because they value their kids so if you're going to drive around a, a stop school bus so let me explain that part so when a school bus is picking up or letting off a kid normally it the lights come on and once the red light starts to blink the arm is gonna extend which is a stop arm and that means the incoming traffic or the traffic behind should stop they are not allowed to pass the bus now if you pass the bus i'm telling you that you are going to be in trouble because you can be fined your license can be revoked and you can be in jail yes it's it's a serious thing here when it comes down to their children when it comes down to pedestrian in, in jamaica if you if a pedestrian walk out in the road on a motorist you, the driver might cuss or just get angry at the person you know in most cases like where are you you don't know where are you you want dead yes so they will cuss at you right because at the end of the day nobody wants to take anybody's life here in the u.s it's a whole different thing because it is easy for someone to sue you for the least of things here in america so persons are very cautious as to what they do so if a pedestrian walk out in the road you will have a, a motorist like I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And maybe ask you, is everything okay? Is everything okay and all of that? Because what, they are scared of a lawsuit. If they see you when you walk out in the road, then they are, they might cuss, but they might not do it so you see. Even though not everyone is like that, but for the most part, they will, you know, be fearful of what may come next or if they almost hit you now you would think that oh jamaicans are more aggressive than persons in the united states it's totally the opposite i'm telling you that jamaicans they are more what should i say now when i say aggressive i mean they, they don't stop if they see you wanting to come on the main road if the traffic is heavy you are going to wait for a while Trust me, you're going to wait for a while because nobody is expecting anybody to stop. Another thing is tailgating. If you drive out on someone and you are trying to make it fast, the person is not going to slow down any at all for you. So you have to press gas just so that the person don't hit you. You have to press gas because they will, trust me, here they will hit your car. They will because, again, they are aggressive on the road in jamaica if you are going to give somebody a bligh they might wink their headlights at you just to you know signaling to you that's a form of communication to let you know that hey you can cross i'm giving you a bligh and so on but here you have one and two persons who do it but for the majority mm -mm. you have to wait you have to wait trust me if you can drive in jamaica and be a very good and defensive driver i can tell you you can drive anywhere 
in the world, especially in the United States. Because in New York, New York is almost like Jamaica. And when I visited New York, if I couldn't drive, I would be in big trouble because they drive exactly like Jamaica. They cut front of you, no one is stopping, and they drive fast and yes. So that is it when you drive in the US and drive in Jamaica. So if you're visiting either place, you can just have some of these things in mind. If you have any questions, you can always comment your questions. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right? And I will catch you in the next video.